going on guys? It's Andy the Prayerhead Picker and today is Saturday, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, I got a buddy who's big, uh, uh, we'll just call him a big uh, sci-fi nerd, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm heading across town right now. I'm going to go pick him up. Uh, him and I are going garage sailing today. We're going to head out of town about 30 minutes to a nice gated community. Um, uh, garage sales, probably be about a hundred homes participating in that. Him and I, we don't get to hook up very often, but I do love going with him because his knowledge of mine, um, we do source a lot of the similar things, but, um, man, his knowledge on, uh, video games and old, um, toys, uh, is just mind blowing. Uh, he's really, really good about doing that. Um, you know, I wish I could get some footage, uh, of us two out there, but I know he's not going to want anything to do with being on camera. Uh, he's just, you know, he's just one of those guys and you know, I, I don't fault him for that. It, it, t it takes a lot to, you know, put your, put yourself out there. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, definitely looking forward to going and hanging out with him today. Um, planning on spending a little bit of money. Hopefully I don't spend near as much as I did yesterday. Uh, but yeah, found a lot of good stuff. Should have a uh, video up uh, Sunday morning from um, Friday's haul. Um, that that hopefully will be all done. Basically, it's all done. I'll just have to upload that, but it probably won't get uploaded till uh, probably Sunday morning. And then hopefully this one will be up probably Sunday afternoon. Um, I know I'll have my granddaughter uh, Sunday afternoon. We'll have her Monday. So um, pretty much most of my day, most of my time is going to be wrapped up with that. And then we've got uh, we've got stuff going on. Um, later today so I am not going to get a darn thing done uh, after I get home so uh, after I drop him off later uh, I'll unload the car get everything all uh, basically uh, staged and uh, ready to go so I can start taking a bunch of photos um, but yeah I'm probably not going to get a darn thing done this weekend I'm going to have to stay out of the thrift stores um, you know which is not, not a big deal especially when I got that kind of inventory right now uh, yeah so anyway guys I guess uh you know, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching these videos and all that sort of stuff uh, and all the support you guys give the channel. So anyway, guys, hang tight, and uh, we'll be back in just a bit. Okay, guys. Um, wow, what a day. Um, just got done, dropped my buddy off, and uh, heading back home. Man, we had a really good day today. Both of us, uh, we got all kinds of good stuff. I think I spent right at a uh, hundred bucks um give or take probably 10 um so yeah i'm somewhere between 90 and 110 bucks a day i did really good um got just a nice variety of things got a bunch of shoes um i actually did get some a couple clothing items i wasn't planning on uh picking those up but uh they were so cheap and they were you know it was good stuff so i couldn't pass that up bunch of hats uh some video game stuff um God, just a little bit of everything. Uh, my buddy, he got a bunch of good, uh, bunch of video game, uh, old retro stuff. Um, he bought an old Atari 2600 with a whole bunch of games, uh, some Game Boy pockets uh, with games. He got, I don't know, he, he got a bunch of old uh, Power Rangers and old uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that. Uh, he knows about all those sort of things. He does really well with that. Um, yeah, a lot of really cool old uh, Power, Power Ranger toys and what have you. I guess they got some value to them. Um, you know, a lot of things I would have just, I, I overlooked, um, hit some other kind of crazy little oddball, um, I don't know, little head sort of thing. I don't even know what you want to call it. Uh, it was really cool that was going for about $30, uh, some little kind of rare toy. Um, and then it lights up and what have you. So he goes, if it lights up, uh, yeah, he said it'll be a really good pickup. I think it was like 50 cents. So yeah, he did, he did really, really well. Um, so yeah, both of us just a real productive day. So, um, I'm going to get home. I'm going to unload the car. I'm probably going to set this stuff up downstairs. Um, that way I kind of lay it all out. And then I did get one really, really good, um, for this category. Um, I, I would say it's the Holy Grail. Um, so you guys, uh, you definitely, uh, hang on and, uh, watch the video all the way probably to the end. Um, but yeah, I found a really, really awesome Holy Grail item uh, for this uh, specific niche or category. So uh, just a really, really rare find. So I was super happy to get it and I got it for literally pennies. So I was super happy with that. So the person didn't know what they had, obviously. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for riding along with me and uh, get ready for the haul. Okay, guys, uh, this here's my haul. Um, yeah, I got uh, quite a bit of good stuff here, and like I said, I spent somewhere between $90 and $110. Um, 
I forgot to actually do a total cash count, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm right there in that ballpark for all these items. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, we'll jump into it, and I'm going to take it and uh, show you some of the stuff we, uh, well, actually, this is all the stuff that I ended up picking up today. So first off, uh, we'll jump into it. I got these, uh, these here are uh, vintage. Um, yeah, check it out. We're going to start right off down and dirty. Uh, sex rabbits. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call them. Orgy rabbits. Uh, th these here are vintage mugs uh, made in Japan. Um, and I think these are the Thomas and NG, I think is, uh, or Taylor and NG. I think that might be the um, style. They, they have all different themes of these. I actually got these for free. Um, so I got the I got two of the rabbit ones, and then I got one with uh, yeah, got one with bears. Just getting it. <laughs> uh, and, and these things sell. Um, they go for right about twenty bucks a pop. So I got all those for free. Um, yeah, just a neat little novelty white elephant type of item, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this Matt Kenza stuff. Um, I didn't even want this, but uh. So I ended up getting this flag. Um, it's kind of like a car flag. Um, this is really cool. I was actually looking at the Pez dispenser. There was a uh, Matt Kenseth, uh, DeWalt Racing Pez dispenser. Um, I thought that was really cool. I was looking at that, and the guy goes, if you take that whole collection there, you can just have it all for a dollar. Um, so I got the cool, uh, I got the clock. It's kind of like a folding clock, picture frame, uh, the Pez dispenser, the flag, and a little keychain all for a buck. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, then we got a got an, I picked up a Maui Jim sunglass case. I always grab the Maui Jim anything, um, you know, it's just like the Tommy Bahama stuff or whatever. But uh, Maui Jim sunglasses are great. The cases go for about fifteen to twenty bucks, so I always grab those. Um, got a little iPad or iPod. Um, this one that uh, it's like for jogging. Um, it actually has like a clip on it, so it'll clip on you. I don't even know what this goes for. It's probably like thirty bucks or so. It could be a little bit more. I'm not one hundred percent positive. Yeah, if anyone knows what the name of this is, uh, what this little iPod is here, um, just let me know in the comment section below. Because I don't see any numbers or anything on it, but I haven't taken it out of the little charging uh, stand either. So, um, Got a couple Wii games. Uh, I got Mario Party 8. I think this is like a 20-some dollar game. Um, and I got uh, Super Paper Mario. I don't think it's a great one, but, you know... I saw the Mario. I think this is maybe what 12 15 bucks, something like that. So, still not bad uh, for the Wii. Surprised my buddy didn't find those. Um, he actually he ended up grabbing something else. Oh, he got a PlayStation, uh, he got a PS3 while I was uh, grabbing these. So, uh, I happened to be in one area, he was in another area, and I didn't even see the uh, PS3 that he had picked up. Um, got some shoes, got some really nice shoes, got a really nice pair of guests. Uh, yeah, these are really nice guests, um, kind of like a pebbled leather driving loafer. So, yeah, really, I mean, these things are like brand new. Um, really nice pair of uh, guest driving loafers. Um, these here are a nice pair of Eastlands. Um, I guess you'd call these like a mule. Um, really nice pair of uh, shoes here. I think these are like brand new. I mean, yeah, look at those. Those are, uh, those are great shoes there. Lady was super excited when I bought them. Uh, she was so excited that I actually even picked them up and was bringing them up to the thing. Uh, right away, I was like going, sweet, she's happy to get rid of these. So I immediately asked for a lower price, and she was happy to give them to me. Got a pair of nice Nikes. These are uh, Air Vizzy Pro 4s, so really nice. I mean, and they're in, you can tell, I mean, these things are in great shape and condition. Um, guys, this is pretty much how I like to buy shoes. Um, if I pretty much won't immediately put them on my feet, uh, I don't buy them. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't mind doing a little bit of work to some shoes, but, uh, you know, I, I try to get good quality, uh, you know, shoes whenever I pick them up. Um, and then these here are a pair of Borns. Really nice pair of Born men's shoes. Um, Born's men's shoes, I think, in my opinion, do way better than women's. And uh, one of them didn't have laces. So um, I told the guy, I said, you know, I like shoes, but I said, I got to buy some laces. I said, you know... What's the best you can do on them? He goes, 50 cents okay? Uh, yeah, 50 cents okay to me all day long. Because uh, these shoes here will go for some pretty good money. I just got to go grab some new laces for them. Uh, so I got uh, this Under Armour quarter zip pullover. It's just like the dry fit. Um, I got one of these. I got all these uh, clothing items all from the same guy. Um, so I got this Under Armour uh, dry fit pullover. I got this really cool Columbia PFG. It's a hooded, dry fit, long sleeve uh, shirt. It says Columbia PFG all down the sleeves. This is really a really awesome shirt. 
Um, and I got a black quarter zip pullover, um, the dry fit type, um, the real thin, and then I got a uh, really nice um, Under Armour hoodie from the same guy. So um, I think I got all those pieces for like 10 bucks. So um, great price for the Under Armour stuff. Like I said, didn't want to buy clothes, but when you're uh, when you got good quality clothes and said cheap, you can't pass it up. Um, uh, I got some hats, nothing crazy ones. Um, this was a great hat, and I got this for, that's right, free. Uh, this is Insane Clown Posse's Juggalo embroidered hat. You guys want a bolo? Look these babies up. Uh, some of these Insane Clown Posse Juggalo hats are going for 100 to around $120. Um, this one here, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure I'll probably get at least, I'm guessing, 50 bucks for this hat. Um, these things are really, really desirable. So, great, great hat find, uh, especially for free. Uh, this is Wild Turkey Bourbon hat. It's a really nice hat there. It's like brand new. Uh, the guy I uh, bought the Under Armour stuff from, I got this Hoyt, uh, Team Hoyt. Um, Hoyt is a, uh, a bow hunting uh, brand. Um, he actually told me that his son um, actually helps design uh, some of the bows. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and then another Hoyt hat. Uh, there was a guy ahead of me. He got some really, really cool Hoyt hats. Um, and he ended up leaving these. But, I mean, these are all still in really good shape and condition. And this hat here I'm probably keeping for myself. It's a really cool Titleist Chicago Cubs. Uh, you know, golf hat here. And it's in great shape. I mean, this thing's super clean. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably keeping this hat. So I just think it's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I like the Titleist hats. But uh, finding the ones with uh, the team logos on the side are pretty rare. I just listed a Oklahoma Sooners Titleist hat the other day. Um, so that one there, I'm just waiting on a sale for that. Uh, this here, I think, is a train. Yeah, I picked up a, uh, this is an old uh, Tyco train. Lady said she, uh, it's never uh, never been taken out of the box um, since she bought it for a Christmas tree. Um, there is an engine in there, um, the transformers, tracks, all that stuff in the cars. So she, um, she said it's basically brand new. Um, I got a really good price on that, so I couldn't pass that up. Um, it's just a cigar ashtray, nice amber glass cigar ashtray. Um, this here was a nice little find. Uh, they had a little barn sale that was down the road. We weren't even going to go to it. We stopped there. A buddy had come out of the, uh, there was like three buildings. A buddy come out of the one building. He goes, there's nothing in there. I just poked my head around in there. Um, and I just happened to look down on a shelf and I seen this whole box sitting there. It says, I think it even says it on the side. Uh, maybe she took this thing off. Oh yeah. Two bucks for the box. I was like, oh, what's in the box? Uh, so I've seen this. It's new sealed. Um, these things here I know go for about 15 bucks. Um, so that was great. Um, box was sitting like this. I happened to tip it back. There's a nice Polaroid 600 in there. And film. So really, really happy to find that, especially for two bucks. So now I got some test film, um, which is great. Normally I don't even worry about it, but uh, I do have some test film now. Um, I picked up this. Uh, this here's a really good find. Um, this is a nice uh, Plantronics Bluetooth uh, headset. I think this was going for. It was over a hundred bucks. Um, it has been opened. Um, the lady said she took it out of the package, tried it. She didn't like the way that it fit on her ear. So even pre-owned, I still think this thing was going in that hundred dollar range. I think this was maybe around like one fifty to one ninety nine, something like that. Um, it was really expensive. So. Um, yeah, so I was really happy to find that and I stole that Literally <laughs> practically literally stole that uh, picked up these two Irwin door lock installation kits um, Got a good deal on those. We just bundled those two together. So I love doing multi-quantity listing type stuff uh, I got this nice glove. I'll come back to this in a minute but This uh, DeWalt, I know it says drill battery, you know, drill and battery charger, no batteries um, yeah, all I wanted really was the charger. Um, so uh, I got all this for 10 bucks. Um, and actually, I'm thinking about actually keeping this drill. Um, it is an 18 volt um, drill. I, all my tools are all to wall anyway, so I have plenty of batteries and stuff like that, But and I really don't need another charger. Um, 
but I don't know. I, I still may just sell the uh, the drill loose. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check just to make sure. But anyway, I can sell the drill, the case, and the charger all out, and I'll probably end up with about at least fifty bucks uh, out of this, possibly more. So that was a nice little find there. I got a red Wii. Um, these here are a little more rare. I think the red, I think my buddy was telling me this is like the Mario version, and I got to keep the little storage cube. So that was a bonus. Um, all the actually, um, I looked inside here, and there was no power brick or um, uh, RCA cables, the data cables and stuff like that. Uh, so the guy ended up running back in the house, and he ended up finding these. So. Uh, I was real. I was. I mean, I have all kinds of extra cables and stuff like that. But you know, it's always nice to get them with. And I think there was just some crap games that were in here. But all the manuals are in there, which is great. So yeah, it's just Wipeout and Zumba and Tangled. So um, games are garbage. But uh, yeah, that's a really that's a pretty decent system. The red one's actually uh, pretty desirable. So uh, okay, uh, I told you I found pretty much a holy grail for uh, a specific niche. Here it is, guys. This, this baseball glove. Like what's so special about this used old baseball glove? This here is the Wilson A2000 XL. Look these up, guys. This glove pre-owned sells for between about a hundred to a hundred and fifty bucks. It's a super desirable glove. Um, yeah, uh, you, you don't. I mean, they're out there. Uh, the guy had no idea what it is. It's in pretty decent shape. I mean, like I said, even on low end, you know, I mean, I, I'm expecting at least 100 bucks, but it's, you know, it's it's in really good shape and condition. Um, I'm just going to condition it a, a little bit better um, and stuff like that. Put a little, uh, probably um, Doc Martin's uh, Wonder Balsam on there and stuff like that. That's the leather conditioner I use. But yeah, uh, Wilson A2000 XL. It's a little bolo for you guys, especially right now with the garage sale season. You guys running it, picking up baseball gloves and stuff. This is one you want to look for right here. Uh, it's a super, super desirable glove, um, and I paid three bucks for it. So, yeah, I got a great deal on that glove. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much my haul uh, from, uh, excuse me, uh, from today. So, I uh, hope you liked all this stuff. Um, I enjoyed uh, you guys coming along with me for the last uh, couple days. I got a ton, a ton of inventory uh, that I don't even know where to even begin with yet. And uh, I'm going to be uh, really tied up uh, here this weekend. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me uh, the rest of the week. So hopefully i got some short days at work. I don't know. I might even have to take a day off of work just to get some of this stuff uh, up and processed and going. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, spins up. Bye-bye, guys.